There is little we cannot accomplish without hearing our own voices. The music of not hearing voices, not music, but an atmosphere of existence. In a corner, there is a bowl of still water with white yellow orchids, curled in a gesture of tenderness across its open mouth. Silence over original silence, which invites the hum of phenomena shoring up against the sigh of newspapers closing upon the wind's request. Analogies are falling back upon themselves so nothing becomes divisible again. Neither we nor I left here to write this moment into memory. Traces of words are leathering into breath which fills the living with no particular feeling and departs in no particular time. Two. Uh, two. Sostenuto, which is another musical term, uh, which means to pause, and is dedicated to all the queer lovers, couples, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the lovers awaken to spill into each other. They have betrayed their families and fled the country together, their hands melted into a single <coughs> fist. They have written their final letters and they are sailing the abyss. They leapt on the train that takes them where they will belong. They inch their bed closer and closer and closer to the morning song. They exchange their vows at the altar of ever after. They wear each other to work and social gatherings. They complain when one of them is absent from the other's dream. Now, the lovers will turn and pull away from each other. But not yet, you will hear them whisper, Time, time can wait a moment longer. Three. Anyway, if all our bodies are metaphors, are empty metaphors of souls indistinguishable from a limitless whole, if all similes are really wishful thinking, looping back upon themselves to strangle vision. If words only invite more words to form pictures within pictures bound by a frame. If suddenly I stop talking and you can still tell. Anyway, thank you. <laughs>